Calculating comparative advantage using the output and input method sometimes gives students problems. This is an explanation of how to uh, use each of those two methods. When you're looking at the output method, you can determine if that's the right method because the input is fixed and the output is variable. So O for output, output is variable. To, to do this, we're going to actually cross divide for each good that we do. So we And the easiest way to remember is it's going to be over. So you put the 25 over 60 and the 60 over 25 and the 40 over the 45, 45 over 40. What we're looking to do is to try to find the opportunity cost. Once you get the uh, the numbers over and uh, you know typically we would want to simplify that and I know that 5 goes in 25 5 times and 5 goes into 60 12 times so it's 5 twelfths so this would be 12 fifths because it's typically a reciprocal and over here we have 8 ninths and 9 eighths now all you have to do is look for the lowest opportunity cost in each column. So from this point, we work in columns. So the first thing you ask yourself is 5 twelfths or 8 ninths, the smaller of the two numbers. And in this case, um, 5 twelfths is definitely smaller than 8 ninths. Then again, over here, cheese is 12 fifths or 9 eighths smaller? Well, 9 eighths is the smaller of the two uh, methods or the two numbers. So Ted should produce fish because he only gives up 5 twelfths of a cheese, while Nancy should produce cheese because she only gives up 9 eighths of a fish. And that would be the output method. Input method works the same way. We're going to find the opportunity cost, only now what we see is the output is fixed and the input is variable. So because of that, we are going to still do the cross division, but we're going to put the numbers under each other. So we'll do that math. And then again, when you finish that, you're going to look in the columns for the lowest opportunity cost. So five halves or six thirds. This would be the six thirds would be the lower of the number. It's two and uh, five halves would be two and a half. For pairs, um, two fifths is smaller than three sixths. And so Tony should produce pairs because he only gives up two fifths of an apple. And Chris should produce apples because he gives up six thirds of a pear. And that's how you do the input and output method.